which you guys got another video here for you. Can I use Intel RAM on a AMD motherboard? That that is the question I see quite a lot, and I wanted to answer that video for you. So this is defined by the motherboard memory support, but you should find that most of the AMD Expo memory sticks will work on an Intel motherboard. It will work, however, outside of the QVL. There is no guarantee it will run the profile that was designed for that particular type of memory. Seeing as the Expo profiles are generally less aggressive than the XMP versions, as you'll see in this video. When it comes to DDR5, this represents a significant shift from the norm when it comes to AMD and Intel memory compatibility. So with DDR4, you needed to make sure that the motherboard and CPU supported the speed of the RAM. But generally, in DDR4 terms, it was pretty straightforward and most of them would work on Intel and AMD. The introduction of AMD Expo and Intel XMP 3.0 profiles with DDR5, this means that the overclock memory, which is designed to run at faster speeds than the JDEC uh, specifications, this requires you to buy kits designed for your platform in mind when it comes to DDR5. So if we take a look at this memory here, this is 8000 megahertz memory and it's a PC5 64000. And this is designed to run on the series of chipsets of XMP 3.0, which is your Intel based systems. So if you look at the supported memory on the supported memory list, it will probably tell you that AMD Expo is not going to reach, as of today, 8000 megahertz in speed. You can check this on your motherboard manufacturer's website and check the compatibility list for that memory. That is probably the best way to go about making sure that the memory that you're buying is going to work on your motherboard. Always check the motherboard's qualified vendor list, which is your QVL, to see which memory kits are supported. Guaranteeing compatibility is important when researching components for your next build. You can go onto the manufacturer's website and check the memory support list here. If we click on the memory support list, it will give us a full breakdown of what memory is going to work with that particular motherboard and what speeds are supported. So when it comes to DDR5, it's a little bit more complicated. But if you bought a DDR5 kit for an Intel platform and then made the switch to AMD and want to take your memory with you, will the XMP 3.0 memory for Intel kit work with your new AMD chipset. In theory, it doesn't have the required AMD Expo information built into the profile of that memory, and this can cause a lot of issues when it comes to getting that memory to work correctly in your UEFI BIOS. And the same could be said if you had a, an AMD kit of DDR5 memory and then you want to swap it over for an Intel uh, system and unfortunately it's probably not going to be able to read that uh, memory profile to make you get the speeds that is designed to run it because ram modules that are labeled as being for intel or amd cpus are often optimized for intel's platform or amd's platform when it comes to ddr5 but when it comes to ddr4 and ddr3 ram standards are pretty much similar so in most cases, RAM designed for Intel or AMD will probably work just fine when it comes to DDR3 and DDR4 RAM. But that's not to be said for all types of RAM and you should always check the QVL list on the manufacturer's website to make sure that memory is listed on their memory compatibility list. This will tell you whether the RAM will run on that motherboard. And especially with DDR5, it's a little bit more complex than the older DDR3 and DDR4 types of RAM. But DDR5 is now being listed and marketed as AMD Expo compatible memory, or it will be listed as Intel XMP 3.0 uh, compatible memory. And you'll see the speeds for the AMD uh, Expo is a lot lower speeds than the Intel XMP 3.0 profiles. You can see here the speeds are up to 8000 megahertz, whereas the AMD Expo types of memory is at around about 6000 or 6400 on some motherboards. And that's pretty much it. It's capped out at about that sort of speed. 
So always check the motherboard QVL list, which is your qualified vendor list. And this is to make sure that the RAM is running at its optimal speed and timings that the memory is designed to run at. Now, what if you are looking to buy the fastest RAM possible, maybe this 8000 megahertz G skill memory, and you're trying to run this on an AMD system? Well, there's no guarantee that this is going to run and you might not be able to run that particular profile on that motherboard because it's not designed to run on an AMD system. So you could run into issues when it comes to DDR5 memory. So to guarantee these particular speeds for that memory, it's always important to check the compatibility list to make sure that you are getting the right memory. And sometimes you need to flash the BIOS to get it to work properly. It's also important to make sure the motherboard supports the speeds that you are putting into uh, that slot. For instance, some of these motherboards will only go up to a certain particular type of speed. For instance, if the motherboard is only compatible for speeds up to say 64,000 uh, megahertz overclock, then the profiles is no good buying 8000 megahertz profile memory to run on that board because it's not going to and you're probably not going to be able to reach those speeds because it doesn't tell you those speeds are uh, compatible with that board so always stick within the realms of what that board can do otherwise you can end up with some major problems and compatibility issues now, I did buy some memory outside of the QVL uh, list. And basically what happened is the memory worked, but it started to cause major stability issues once I started to push it to uh, a high profile that the memory was designed for. But the motherboard only had a maximum of 6000 megahertz when I was trying to push it beyond that and it become unstable and it was crashing and causing all sorts of problems which then means that I couldn't run that at the full profile speed and I had to change the timings manually and I ended up having to replace the memory with more suitable and compatible memory for that particular motherboard. So always do your research before you start purchasing a super fast memory for that particular board. As you can see here, we've already talked about uh, the particular types of memory you can see here. Some of them will say that the memory supports XMP 3.0 and AMD Expo. If it says that, then it may well be supported for your particular board. You can then check the board's compatibility list to see whether that uh, memory is on there. And if it is, then you can interchange it from AMD uh, Expo to Intel uh, XMP 3.0 if it says it will run that. If it only says Intel XMP IQ compatible, then that is basically it's not going to be compatible for AMD. And you need to be very, very careful. So as you can see here, these speeds here are getting right up there now with 8,000 megahertz. And you're probably not going to see that sort of speed from AMD Expo uh, right now as of today. So be very careful when you're choosing your memory for your next PC build or you're looking to upgrade your memory to super fast memory. When it comes to DDR5, it's a little bit more complicated than the older DDR3 and DDR4. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.